Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing the Mazda Rookie Series in Virtual Reality. Just seeing how I go, and a lot of new players will be coming straight to this series, so I thought I'd give it a crack and see how I can go in Virtual Reality and bring you guys along for the ride. With this series, there's a lot of barging and bumping and overtaking, and I'm very excited for that. Basically, it's going to be trying to cut through the pack, obviously win the race, but most of all, just have a look at how the headset feels racing other people and having close quarters battles. Before I do continue, I just want to say thank you very much to Vive for sending me the headset to make a review with. It's very much appreciated. And there's a review video that you can find on my channel or in the link below. Without further ado, let's get to the grid and see how we go. Here we are about to start 10 minutes of carnage in the Mazdas. The lights are up. The lights are red. And away we go. Bit of wheel spin. Oh, I've missed the gear. Terrible start, but that's okay. First time starting in the Mazdas for quite a while, so we see how we go. A couple of people running too wide ahead. Definitely going to be some carnage. Oh, they've made contact in front. Oh, and they're off. Oh, unsafe rejoin. That's a big crash right in front of me. I'm going to take the dirt here. That's two cars out. That's good already. See if we can make a move on number five, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen quite yet. Coming into the third corner, see if we can get past some of these slower cars. It's quite lucky that we actually got a bad start, or we could have been involved in that. See if we can get some slipstream, holding the outside line. See if we can cut across back through on number five. Oh, we've got a much better exit. Is he going to give us the room? We're going to have to back out of this one. Whoa, and he's gone off. Don't come back onto me. He's made a bit of contact, but he's off. Oh, I've got slight steering damage, so we'll have to deal with that. But that's all right. We'll see how we go. Bit of contact ahead. That's good for us. See if we can get a good run out of here. A bit of drifting action, that's how we like to do it. He's run a bit wide here, but that's all right. Okay, let's see if we can cut down. Here we are at the end of the first lap. Slight steering damage, but we'll try and push through. We do have a uh, fast repair if we need it, but looks like it's not affecting our pace too much as we're slipstreaming on the third car to try and get by. Oh, great run as he gets a bad shift. We'll try and send it down the outside to fake him. And then cut into the inside. He's closing the door, but we're going to squeeze it in there. And we're going to get the move done. Just cut his nose off a bit. And got number 10 ahead. Oh, he's come back in front of me. Oh, we've run a little bit wide, but that's okay. Oh, a bit of slidey action up ahead. See if we can get a better run on this 10. Seems to be a bit slower and less confident than the rest. A bit of sliding, but it's alright. See if we can cut back to the inside. Rubbing up on the Mazda. Oh, he's all over the shop. We've been hit. He's been hit. We're doing okay. Number three giving us a bit of a tap up the bum, but that's okay. In my severely steering damaged Mazda. Tries to rejoin when there's an over room, but he's got the position for now. Gonna try and slipstream and get by this guy because he's holding me up a little bit. Try to get a better run through the cork, shift up nicely. We've run a little bit wide, but he seems to slide through here and lose time. So we're trying to get a good cut on the apex, and we've really caught up to him with that one. Shift down into third, run it close to the red curb, and he's gone wide. See if we can pass him without getting hit. There we go. That seals the move right there. Hopefully he doesn't come back and hit me or anything, but happy with how that went. Now I've just got to catch Rodney. Yeah, on second note, I'm gonna box. <laughs> All right, here we go. We are back on track. We're in eighth position now, which is a shame. But we've got a bit of a gap to close up to the guys ahead. 
Alrighty guys, here we are. This is P10 who's lapped in front of us, but we're going to see if we can get past him. Try and unlap ourselves. The stewards are not very happy with us. One more. Whoa, and he's fully slowed down on me there. Little players using auto clutch, which really slows you down on the shift, so... Something to be careful of if you're following. And he's braked so early, what's he doing? He's well ahead of me, usually brake around this line. He started braking way early and there's nothing I can do. But uh, that's me out of the race. Definitely didn't go as planned, but I must say, for the first few laps, it was a lot of fun. I must say, racing in VR is heaps of fun. Uh, not my best example of my driving, but things happen and I really did enjoy the experience while I wasn't disqualified. Best of luck to all these guys as I leave the track. But uh, if you want more information on the Vive, link down in the description. Uh, fantastic experience racing in VR as you probably saw by the first lap carnage. But other than that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see all you guys in the next video.